people that in the Catholic Church they even know they know it's Saturday because they in the calendar it goes Sunday Monday Tuesday all the way to Saturday that's the seventh day it's not it doesn't start with Monday and so they've changed it and people that are in the church for the Catholic Church they they even know but they're just afraid to, they're like who's to change it you know well, Baptists would say you're wrong too and every single other group would say that. But that just proves that they right. haven't studied the Bible. It clearly says that the seventh. Well, day you're you're saying is the day of, you, uh, of all the different groups. You do realize that there are hundreds of, diver, of different groups. Yes. I would I use my own I, my idea is it's the ice cream theory. You have the first of I mean the, pretty much the oldest Christian group that I know of would be the Catholics. They're like vanilla. And then you have like the Baptists, the Anglicans. All the other ones, they're all slightly different. You have one that's a strawberry, one that's a chocolate. It's pretty much the same stuff. There's a little bit of difference. Mm -hmm. But what you're saying is that uh, coconut cream or whatever, saying that we're that's right and everything else <laughs> is wrong. And you have strawberry saying that they're the true ice cream, and none of these others are ice cream. I think that's how... It's all based on what you think, because you've been told, and you've most likely been told and raised in this. I'm assuming you were both raised in this? In this. Not me. Okay. You were uh, raised in this? Yes. That's because that's what your parents told you. Yes. Your parents told you this is right and that all these others are wrong. They would that's say not that necessarily that true, though. Not because hard. personally, from, my, from what I'm saying, my oldest sisters, they're not as close to God as, as well, like, they don't strongly believe as I do. Okay? And that's just because they were raised the same way as me. But we all going to have different views and Satan, I'll go back to him because he's the one that's giving us all that sin and putting it on us. He is the one that's tempting them and getting in their minds, oh, you shouldn't believe this, you shouldn't believe that, and you know, and separating them. But if you have a strong relationship with God, then that's not going to happen. But, look, but I'm, I'm still saying that you're saying that yours is correct because you studied the Bible. Um, what was his name? He had the radio show, not Pat Robertson, but uh, the, the 21sters. They thought that the world was going to end on May 21st. He read the Bible and yeah. thought it was just as good, and it didn't happen. No, it, doesn't, no, it says in the Bible that no one's going to know. No man knoweth the hour that something that comes. Yes. So he, that's, knew, he was convinced, he was and then convinced, but it says there that the, it's the, not. But he's just as con, he was just as convinced as you are now. But if you so see, what makes yours you see the difference right? Though, because I just told you that this says that no one's going to know. Apparently, he didn't stay well, his no, Bible what, correctly. What you're saying is that it's going to happen, mm -hmm. but. What's the point? If it's going to happen 10,000 years from now, what's the point of me believing? I'll be long dead before that. Because when you believe, it's the fact that when you die, okay? What you truly believe before you die, okay? That's really what it comes down to. Because when, in the second resurrection, when you raise up, you're going to be wondering, am I going to be with this first group or the second group? Am I going to be Well, if I've been dead for 10,000 years, who cares about another thousand? John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only son. That's working in the tabernacle right now. If you study the Bible, it's pretty awesome. Uh, if he's working in the tabernacle, not throwing lightning bolts at anybody. And send his only son. That, for, so God that loved the world, that he begot his only son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall have eternal life. Not 100 years, not 90 years, not... And the difference is it's not going to be like this world. It's going to be completely different. That's going to be a sin-free world. Where there's going to be no calamities, no crying, no pain, no nothing of that. No okay. baby disease at all. Yes. So he's going to destroy all sin after yes. everyone's already died. And I'm going to raise those up, and he's going to give them a new form, a new body. And the thing is that sin is um, not really studied out as much as it should be, because the consequence of sin and the separation from God is really, really, how do you say, really, uh, really, it's really more serious than it should be taken. It shouldn't be taken lightly. It's like, it should really be studied out. And as you said, how people like kind of like presented the Bible, they weren't, they, I don't think they're representing Christ as they should be. In his word, uh, in First Timothy, re, uh, study the, search the scriptures, and make thyself approved. Meaning that have have God in your heart. Meaning that you can't. I, I say, if I was trying to do this by myself, you know, trying to be like, hey, about you, I can't do it because I'm doing it by my own will. Yes. It's it's by God's grace that I could actually speak to you, and uh, and so it's not by our will, but it's by God's will. So that's if he, if I abide in him, uh, he will abide in me. Meaning that draw nigh to me, and I will draw nigh. And so that's what, that's, uh, how do you say, that's what actually presenting the Bible should be about. It should be about doing this for God and not for yourself. Meaning that, ha <laughs> you suck. Like to it save should. others instead of trying to condemn them. And yeah, exactly. It's just showing the truth, not saying that you're wrong. It's saying this is what the Bible is about. What, what I think is that if you really think that in the end everyone's just going to die, 
What do you have to lose, you know? Um, if we're all going to die, what do you have to lose? Okay. What's going to Well, I have to lo lose a life that I would have actually, you know, done stuff in. You can do stuff, okay? Everything in the Bible, it's not. Those commandments, they're not bad. They're really good. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Some people, they have it right in their in their mind. Oh, to my belly, but to my mind, you know? So, you know things that are morally right. People still have conflicts with what is morally right, what is justice, you know? But people just have that mindset, you know? Why, why shouldn't we kill, you know? Well, it's not right. How come it's not right? Well, people think that way anyway, that it's not right to kill, so... You know? Well, it's an evolutionary thing. I believe that. That it was. If you killed, uh, I mean, if you go back far enough, if you killed somebody and it's only, only a small group of, you know, 50 people, uh, that's a lot of food that you can't catch anymore. Wait, uh, you studied Darwinism, right? Well, I am, I believe yes. in the yeah. Darwin yeah. theory of evolution, oh. Darwinian theory of evolution by natural selection, yeah. What's well, like, um, how do you say? I, I, I kind of heard about this, but I'm not sure if it's true. I think you studied it more. But was wasn't Hitler's um, how do you say whole motivated was no. based on oh okay that was social Darwinism that was a bastardization of his ideas okay. that was saying that there's one race that is more superior and therefore should survive okay. as opposed to the Darwinian idea of if you have a group of species in a, in a contained environment oh. those that are more able to survive will reproduce and they'll send it off to their offspring well, yeah as as in um, as in, if, if you have, like, how the draft came in. Yeah. If you have a bunch of species all eating the same, the same short leaves, some of them, the shortest ones, won't be able to eat, and they'll die they'll before die. they the have kids. They'll longer neck, so keep going, and if there's one that has an even longer neck, that one will survive. And, and eventually, and it'll go usually, longer. females yeah. will pick the ones that are more able to survive and eat, and they'll have more kids, which means that the ones with the longer necks will end up becoming more prosperous. But no, uh, Hitler was, that was social Darwinism, which was bad at the time, yeah. oh, okay. which by the way, everyone at that time was pretty much racist, that was a very common thing, Yeah. Uh, Gandhi was racist, so, yeah, just about everyone. That's the complete opposite, because... Yeah, a lot of yeah. a lot of people like to pull in the Hitler was a Darwinist, it's not true. Yeah, he got a false idea. Well, he took an idea that was popular at the time, or in a little bit before, and took it way, way, way too far with a bunch of anti-Semitism thrown in. Not to mention, I wouldn't be surprised if he had some brain addling from when he got hit by mustard gas in World War One. Oh wow! He was a soldier in World War One, and he got hit by mustard gas. Really? Yeah. Dang. So he probably <laughs> what does that do? mustard gas. Well, one of the things it does if you get a lung full of it is it destroys your lungs. Uh, Basically, wow. you bleed into your lungs. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> mustard gas is a pretty hellish thing. Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Any type of uh, man-made gas would be bad for your lungs. Well, I mean. It was specifically designed to kill. Oh, so I he got hit by that. I have a question. Do you know what time it is? It is six o'clock. Yeah. We're gonna to have to be get going, but you know, I think that, I think this was a really good talk. But um, you know, yeah. what I think how about you study more to what we believe, and I'll actually I'll look into more of what you believe. I I would yeah. suggest going and looking up uh, looking at the stuff like the, the fossil records, the geology records, yeah. astronomy, because. Um, yeah, we know how old the universe is. I mean, it did get a little bit older. It got 80 million years older, I think it is. But it's somewhere around 14.83 billion years old for the universe. And we do know that for a more or less fact. We're still getting a little bit more precise here and there. Um, we do know the Earth is, is 4.6 billion years, 4.6, 4.7 billion years old. We have, we have all that evidence. So, which is why I would actually suggest looking at the evidence. Have because we have it. Have, have you studied uh, Daniel chapter two? Verse, no, not well. Not verse, it's uh, it's pretty cool. It's do you have like a Bible or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. So I would just suggest for me, suggesting to you, just read the Bible. That's really it. This is it has stuff on the back too. So I think that the it's website talks about Daniel's prophecy, but yeah. uh, in Daniel chapter two, it talks about how uh, Babylon was really. It's it's actually it's super accurate. It's filled with actual history, and to be honest, there's actually lots of. Uh, this, uh, how do you say it? What do you call that? Uh, sorry, I no. The geologic record and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, they dug up a fight scene that was recorded back in Kings, Second Kings, chapter 2, which uh, kind of confirmed that that battle happened. And they're, and they're all real places, too, like Israel. That yeah. place exists in Egypt. And the misconception. Yeah, I, I, I don't doubt that there are some yeah, things places, every so often that locations. are true. Yeah. But there are also other religions that do the exact same thing that are, 
are just as true in certain parts of it. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> well, you know, you got a lot of stuff in, like the Norse deities, you know, they were around in real places. The, uh, the Greco-Roman, they come down to Rome every so often. They do a lot of stuff. And Rome exists. Yeah, Romans kind of kind of sketchy. They kind of fade away from the Bible, which we do. We kind of like frown upon when you kind of fade away from the Bible into your own traditions. And well, they had their traditions first. Uh, no. Roman was, religion existed before Christian religion. Yeah, I don't understand why and it involved the Bible. Our traditions are traditions, you know. It's yeah. not really what based in their. It's, uh, they claim to follow the Bible, but they're not really following the Bible, so that's why we kind of find it sketchy for them. Well, I'm not talking about Roman Catholics, I'm talking about Romans. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> I thought we were talking about Roman Catholics. No, no, Greco-Roman, Greco-Roman pantheons. Oh. The Dodecathons. Oh, okay. What, what's your history? The, well, the, the Zeus, that pantheon. Oh, yeah. You know, they existed before yours did. The uh, Hindus, about 2,000 years, and the Buddhists, about 2,000 years. That's why I'm asking why is yours right when theirs weren't, or why do you say that theirs weren't? It's only really because this is what you're exposed to and this is what you're in. If you were exposed to Hindu beliefs for 20 something years, you'd be just as into them as you are into Christianity. That's why I don't. That's why I say don't, don't stop, don't stop thinking. Think for yeah. yourself. Think. Go and look at the scientific yeah, evidence because stronger. scientists yeah. are. Closing the gaps on the creation of the universe. We have a lot of stuff. Cosmic background radiation. We have when, expanding galaxies. I guess the full background. Universe. I'll make sure I, I look into that. Yeah. So. Well, they, they've got quite a lot of it now. I would suggest looking at it now because it's. Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing. Yeah. Uh, Daniel chapter two for, uh, through chapter five is pretty cool. I suggest you read it. I, I won't explain it, but just like we're gonna have to go up. Just like. Yeah. They're gonna stop. Uh, what I was what I was trying to say about me questioning is uh. This is this one. This is one one verse. I could show you many verses that actually kind of hit me more, but this is the only one I could find because I have a point. Uh, it says, "O oh, depth of the riches, both of wisdom and knowledge of God, how unsearchable are His judgments, and how His how His ways past finding out. For who hath known the mind of the Lord? Who hath been in counsel? Uh, who hath been His counselor? O oh, who hath first given to Him, and it shall be." Uh, re, uh, recompense can't be that <laughs> unto him again for for of him and through him and to him all things to whom be the glory forever amen and that's like one of the things that really hit me so I could I, I kind of feel what you mean dude but uh, it was it was super cool talking to you mm-hmm. uh, oh sorry I forgot your name <laughs> Sterling oh yeah <laughs> Sterling I'm friend of him alright uh, that's amazing mm-hmm. so I would just as a parting thing just think about this. Most yeah, science help you too, though. And oh, I want to give as much information as you can. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I would just suggest uh, when you get to around to thinking about it, yeah. think about the the idea that or the reason why most scientists don't believe. Okay. Okay. Because that that might give you some things to think about. Okay. Cool. Well, you have a nice day. Right? Bye, 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 God bless.